Howdy, today I'm gonna to be making a live trap to capture bunnies in order to be able to relocate them off of the property. I went to Home Depot to buy my wood and I had them pre-cut my pieces into a one foot by 24 inch rectangle. However, they messed up with one and I'm gonna to have to correct that right here. And I made a basic rig in order to ensure a nice straight cut using a circular saw. As you may have noticed, the saw blade I was using is in need of desperate sharpening or replacing. It did a lot of burning right here at the beginning. But, all in all, nice and straight cut. I currently have four boards of wood, one, two, three, four, that are 24 by 11 and a half. And for this one, I'm gonna take off two inches on the 24 side, so that'll make this one 22 inches long. And this is gonna be the top board. I'm working on the sides and I've decided to make a window. I've gone ahead and clamped both of these side pieces together and centered a window um, with two inches on each side, three inches from the back end, and it's about an eight by eight. With my windows cut out, it's time to put some chicken wire in the windows. I've already attached this one, bending back nails. I'll go ahead and do this one now. With the top, bottom, and sides completed, it's time to nail them together. The way this live trap will work is that there will be a gate on the front here that will drop like you see even on a castle. Uh, I created guides for that gate, pre-drilled holes in them, and now I'm going to put them on the edge here. With the gate door up in a high position, I went ahead and I measured all the way to the hole that I put from the top here. I got myself about 10 and a half inches, so I'm gonna need to put a post approximately right here in the middle that can go up to that height. I've marked that out right here and I'll go ahead and cut that out with the handsaw. Put my post there, that's about seven inches back and that's another seven inches. And this is gonna be hole for the trigger I uh, need to drill that out with a nice big hole and mount this right here. I'll probably need to give this a little bit of support on one of the sides to make it more secure.
All right, I set up a little jig here. I need to cut this piece, which is about 21 inches in length, in half in order to make a smaller trigger. Don't need that much wood so I could save the other scrap for something else. Go ahead and cut a little notch out from The gate will go up to this piece which sits up here on um, the post and that will just teeter like that from the trigger which will be attached to that hole uh, and down through the hole. So the trigger itself, I shortened it on the upper end to just be right there. So when a rabbit walks in and bumps it, then the trigger flies up dropping the gate. Okay, the mechanism is finished. I caught out a little notch right here in order to help it rest on the sweet spot. This notch is pretty good. I went up to this hole, I wrapped it around and put a little stopper there to ensure it doesn't go backwards. Stopper on this side, bowling and bowling right there. Um, so go ahead and show you. That's the orientation for the trigger for the trap. Cut the door, falls straight down when the trigger is flipped. So the only thing that is keeping this trap from being effective is the back is wide open. I could just wrap chicken wire to the outside, but with the chicken wire on the inside right here, it would look terrible. So I wish I could get the chicken wire on the inside. I've gone ahead and penciled out a wall to fill the back of the trap. And then I'm gonna cut out a window just like I did on the sides so that way I have a nice frame to nail the chicken wire to. Outlined an inch and a half border on this, the back wall. frame is cut out and I have laid out some chicken wire here and I've put in a nail on those corners. I'm going to add one to this corner and really stretch it tight. It is time to put the finishing touches on the live trap. And I just need to install the rear door. Here it is. Or the rear window. Such a great movie. Rear window by Alfred Hitchcock. So it's gonna fit nice and snug in like so. And for these last nails, I'm gonna do some pre-drilling just to ensure that I don't split anything. And who would want to split something on the very last piece of a puzzle? It 
the live trap has been completed here we go first look and there's that trigger mechanism on the inside gets lots of light so hopefully this will be appealing to rabbits and let's go ahead and try this out I got a little coat hanger here See, it's gone in, and voila, the trap has been sprung. Reset the trap. Thank you for watching this project video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned.